mark today's meeting on the back of the very controversial Panorama program and many more like it. Yeah, there's been a number of revelations the end of February. We had a very explosive spotlight program by Vincent Kearney on the Mount Vernon UVF. Following that, we had a program looking at the shadowy and secret of the secret uh, special branch organisation, the Weapons Explosive Research Centre, that showed how they interfered with weapons that killed people. And then we've had the Panorama program, and we've seen the extent of collusion led burr in the period of a few months. Um, we're here today as a result of that. They talked to Sinn Féin and Martin McGuinness about those revelations. Obviously, there's huge concern. Um, had this been about Republicans, it would have been discussed in Leinster House, Westminster and here, and it would have been dominating the media. Credit to the journalists who took these programmes forward and did it. Brilliant work. Credit to the families that participated. But the debates need to take place about resolving these issues. These are live issues. They can't be buried. The families aren't going away. So let's move forward and address these issues positively and constructively. But let's not have the recrimination in the way people want to vilify these families, want to play down their grief and suffering. And let's look at all this stuff in their own. Let's look at the pensions for people disabled as a result of collusion. And let's not have the Stephen Nolan approach of it's the paramount militaries. This is the state that we're running the agents in the paramilitaries. This is much more reprehensible and that's why we're here. It needs to be debated in the Assembly. We commend Raymond McCartney for putting forward a motion when it will be debated soon. We commend the support we're getting from Martin McGuinness. We want to be in the Leinster House raising the same issues and we want to be in Westminster with these families and that's where it needs to be heard and dealt with and it needs to be dealt with in a court and it needs to be a judicial inquiry. Inquiries in the OTRs, inquiries in the all other issues. When it comes to uh, the state being involved, we see the whitewash, but well, we're not going to tolerate it. It needs addressed. You're here today, of course, to meet Joint First Minister Martin McGuinness. What do you hope to achieve with this meeting? Well, already we have the support of the, 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 the Joint Minister. I, I, already he is committed to do what he can for these families. He cares deeply about this issue himself. Himself targeted through collusion on many occasions with many of his colleagues. So they know more than any other people the real cost and the human devastation. But they're committed to helping us and helping the families, and we welcome that. And we want to build upon that and we want to do that as I say in Dublin and in Westminster we've already had you know Paul Maskey and, and Mickey Brady talking to us about what can be done there we already have TDs talking to us in Dublin about what can be done we need to build on that we need to move forward Eugene how important are meetings like this with the uh, Deputy First Minister meetings like this are very very important because it's shown it to the world uh, th there was more media there at the meeting and I just hope that I can say and shows the world exactly what happened the counterinsurgency gangs the um, collusion these people cannot walk in the sunset, murder, murder innocent people and walk off in, in the sunset. The British government was responsible for all these murders. We are hoping to achieve just to bring this here out into the media, just to show the world exactly what Britain was doing. Uh, no one will ever go to court for this or go to jail for this. Or any, any, it is just to bring it out and show it to the world exactly what happened, how the British government were murdering their own citizens. Their own citizens. Well, my name is Aidan Falls. Uh, my father... Patrick Falls was murdered on the 20th of November 1974 by the UVF and their associates in the Glenan gang. Um, we're here today to highlight my father's murder um, and also to pursue, pursue truth and justice. And I honestly believe that um, eventually I would like to see the British establishment um, in the International Criminal Court at The Hague for uh, war crimes. We believe that the uh, British state are guilty of mass murder uh, and we, we believe it's time for truth and that the British state should be held accountable for committing mass murder in Ireland. The Irish government also need to take responsibility for their failure to act uh, and not uh, play a full role in actually making people uh, accountable for committing mass murder in, in Ireland. I have to talk because my son can't talk and I am looking justice for Gavin. The man that murdered my son is walking free round Portadown and has never been taken up for this. He was trained in England and in Wales. He's a, an assassin. He works for MI5 and has done and they protected him. Gavin wanted to be an architect 
have paintings all around the house. You want to see his drawings? I'm here today to represent Gavin. And we're not going to go away. I am not going to go away. I've already said, I'm a thorn in your side. And I'm coming to get you. And I'm going to put you behind bars. And it's like a game of Jenga. I'm going to start from the top and work my way down and expose every one of them for what they are. Mortars. But like one of the other victims said in there, when they die, their children will take over. So by me.